Can everybody hear me? My translator is sitting down here. Let's give me a, a big hand. <笑>不好意思因为时间的关系我大概再要饭就可以了我想大部分大家都听得懂很多名词那再一点我自己不是学医学的所以有些地方讲错了请多多包涵 uh, Okay, thank you for inviting me again to uh, Taiwan. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, 谢谢邀请他来, it's my fourth time here. 第四次. And I flew in just between two typhoons. 哎, 在两个台风中间飞进来. And uh, we had a little bumpy ride. 哎呀, 在香港的时候好像是气流很不稳. But I'm glad to be here on firm ground now. 啊, 现在安全到达了. Uh, I can see you've been sitting here since 12 o'clock, so you must be a little bit tired now. Uh, so I'm going to try and make this here as practical as possible for you all. 所以呢, 他会尽量以食物的观点来讲, Just to tell you a little bit about my background, uh, uh, I've been working with a shockwave therapy for the last 14 years. 那么他在这个领域,就是我们这个振波方面做了大概有十四年了。And uh, I've been working with both radial and focus shock waves for the musculoskeletal system. 那么在他那边的话,大部分都是用的是聚焦式的。I uh, worked with all kinds of manufacturers, all the known machines on the markets we actually have in our own clinic. 那他的机构呢,其实有以前各种各样的厂牌他都用过。so I have great experience with the different machines and what they are good at treating. So today, we are going to talk a little bit about theory about why I have chosen to uh, treat back and pelvic problems with this device that I'm going to introduce you to today. Uh, I'm only going to spend half an hour on theory and then I'm going to go on to present some treatment therapies for the spine and the pelvis. Uh, so today I'm taking uh, you into one specific device, the Pizza Wave 2, that we have found to be most effective for treating uh, neck, back and pelvic problems. 那么今天他要介绍的呢，就是呃，他刚讲哈，Pizza Wave Two 的这个压电效压电式的这样的一个机器，他认为是这款是最有效的，在它的使用上。呃，the and we tried to use all these technologies to treat spinal problems, but found that the pizza uh, electrical principle was the most effective. Uh, I just read through the notes last night when I came, and you had a lot of theory already, and you know about how shock waves work, so I won't bore you with that. 所以昨天晚上他看了, but what I'm going to challenge you with today is our understanding of what the pressure of the focal uh, beam uh, means and the energy flux density and the total energy that we use uh, when we treat patients. 那它主要解释的话呢,就是它那个beam的那个整个聚焦的程度,还有它加的压力,还有那个能量的这个flux的density的这一块,还有整个加的energy的这一块。Nice leaflets outside the door, uh, representing one machine, but never believe a manufacturer from the paper they produce. Here we see a lot of different devices. They can do different things, the machines. You can set them up in different ways. They claim that they have small and large focal zones and they can distribute and produce a certain amount of energy. Uh, what I'm interested in, 
is clinical result, getting the patient out of pain as fast as possible. And I don't, know, I don't care about what equipment I'm using, I just want to use the most efficient one. 那对他来讲,他不管用哪个台机器,他的最终的目的就是让病人能够减轻他的痛苦为最终的目标。So this is probably what you've been shown by the different manufacturers that each machine can produce a different size of focal zone which uh, is this uh, focal shock wave zone. 那可能各個廠牌都跟各位做過一些說明,他們可以產生出來的這個shockwave的beam大概都長這個樣子。The old devices produce the bigger zones and the newer devices produce smaller zones. 那老的機器,老的這個以前的model做這個出來的beam都是像上半部那樣比較 大面积的,那么新的都是像最底下这样子,一个小小的焦点的。But it is not true. 但事实上不竟然是这样子的。Some devices are generally measured that only in the center, in a small center of these zones, are these measured by the manufacturers. 那有很多的厂商呢,他们所量测的能量点大概都是有在中间那个地方。they don't tell you anything about what's going on in the rest of the focal zone. 那在外围的地方,他们都没有任何的数据提供出来。Independent researchers have shown that the old devices produced mainly the energy here and nearly none out here. 那么有一些独立的研究报告显示出来,有很多的机器,它的能量大概都集中在中间点,周边大概几乎都没有能量了。And that works very well on some anatomical structures and not that well on others. 那有些问题当然它可以用的,有些很多其他问题就不能用这样的。So you have to try the different devices on the same areas to see which one is most effective. 因此在同样一个部位呢,你肯定要试不同的机器才知道哪个最有效。So this energy flux density which they measure the energy in, is only measured in the center of the focal zone. 那刚刚讲过了,他们量的这个energy flux,就是能通密度的话呢,ED值呢,只有量它的中间那一点。But this energy flux density measurement is not a reliable measurement when you compare machines. 可是你在比较机器和机器之间,这样的量测方法的话,它的比较的结果是不可靠的。And when you treat very superficial structures, they might be true, but deeper structures, they're not true. 如果治疗的是比较表面浅的这个部位的话,可能比较是如此。如果深入一点的话,那就不一样了。What the piezoelectric machines do, especially the pizza wave 2, is that they produce a very homogeneous zone in here, where the energy is the same within this little focal beam. 那么这个压电式,特别是这个我们现场这种机器的话,它所产生出来的beam的能量是均匀分布,就是它现在画的红色的那个椭圆内区。We found this kind of beam to be very, very efficient when you want to affect pain around the spine. 那在这个脊椎周边的这种痛啊,用这样的一种能量的波,这样的一个beam来治疗,它发现是非常有效。Another thing, physical thing you have to take into consideration when we treat deep structures in the, in the body is that these beams are physical beams and when they hit anatomical structures, they deflect, refract, and they actually diminish the power the deeper we go into the body. 这个深入的时候会折射、反射或者散掉,或者是它的能量就慢慢减弱了。And some anatomical structures stop the beams, like bone tissue. 那有些呢,碰到这个骨骼组织的话呢,它就会停在那儿了。So I'm going to talk about this monster here today. 那当然今天不是说只是讲这个而已。The waves that pizza electric... Uh, apparatus uh, actually uh, make is that they are characterized by a very high pressure force. 那我们都知道这种这个机器它的压电的这个产出的这个信号都是有会产生一个非常高的一个脉冲的这个能量. And they have a very short rise time and a very fast, uh, sorry, very short uh, fall time again. 那么升起的脉冲升起跟下降的这个时间呢都是非常短的。So this wave pattern this shock wave is different from 
other manufacturers. So it has this exposure to the shape and other manufacturers. And the patient can actually feel the difference between the different machines when they try these shockwaves. So if the patient has different exposure, different exposure, they can feel the difference between the different The piezoelectric technology has now developed two ways to produce these shock waves. One of this pinpoint, which is the cigar-shaped uh, focus, and then this new linear one. 那么现在我们压电的话，产出了有两种不同的病，一种就左边那个像雪茄的这种尖端 pinpoint， 一一种是线性的，就是右边的 linear 的。But we found that this device here is best to treat deep-seated structures. Around the spine and hip. 那么左边那个 pinpoint 呢？他发现是适合于这个 spine 的周边的那些疼痛的治疗是最有效。The linear device is very, very efficient at treating superficial structures and structures around the hip which are not lying very deep. 那么线性的话呢？他发现的是比较呃，不要太深入的治疗，或者是在臀部周围的呢，用这个 linear 的会比较好。Another very important aspect with this device is that we use gel pads. Which actually can disperse the energy down into different levels at very specific uh, intervals. 那另外的话呢，我们还要搭配这个胶片，就是凝胶片，它呢能够使得你的那个能量波很精准的呃把它往下移动到你要的那个的深度上面去。I'm gonna go through this here. We all know these parameters that have been shown in the literature that we actually Create tissue regeneration, but we also create some form of pain modulation. 好，那我们都知道说呢，呃，这样的一种治疗的效果的话，除了 tissue 能够再生 regeneration 之外，同时还有一些疼痛的调节作用，这个 modulation 的作用。So when we are working in practice, we see patients who have pain. 那么当然，我们在这个诊所的话，我们的一般的这个病患的话，都知道他是有疼痛走进来的。And their concern is to get the pain away as fast as possible. 当然，他们的目的都希望能够尽量把疼痛能够减缓或者是不痛。So that's my aim when I use shockwave therapy around the spine. 所以呢，他在用这个这个震波 shockwave 在在在 spine 的周围，他的这个想要达到的目的就是如此，将尽快的 pain 能够呃这个去除掉。And when you apply this correctly, as I'm going to show you, then the patient With a chronic spinal problem, who hasn't responded to any other therapy, will actually start relieving,、uh, experiencing pain relief after two or three treatments. So, uh, if he later will show us, he will show us how to treat this way. He will treat the pain of 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 the pain. And even though if we scan them and X-ray them, we can't see any difference in their skeletal structures or their anatomical structures, but they are actually having less pain. 那当然，他做过这个呃这个各种的扫描了，他都发现说结构上呢没有看出来什么异样，可是呢他确实有这个疼痛。So we think that what we are affecting with these shock waves is actually stimulation and modulation of pain, and Some form of reduction of these non-myelinated nerve fibers. Ah, so he thinks so. Ah, this kind of shock therapy is to stimulate, to stimulate, and to modulate the pain. Then he can release the non-myelinated nerve fibers. 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 啊，那么如果要去研究呢，文献上显示呢，非随神经的这个纤维的降低的话呢，会要有点时间的。可是呢，啊，它对这个 modulation 的部分呢，会比较快速的就产生效果。So we are left with how does shock wave modulate pain, and that's a very hard question for us to answer. 那么这个振波如何去调节这个 pain 呢？他说这个问题是蛮难回答的。There's been done a lot of basic research which shows neurochemical alterations and pain modulation going up into the spinal canal and at higher cortical levels. 那么有一些文献呢都有这个也曾经研究过。那么它这个 pain 呢经过了振波化，有一些 chemical 的这样的一个变化。然后呢，有些 pain 呢它其实呢它可以从它的痛点呢可以这个传到脑部。And we've actually been very successful at at 
producing a result within a few treatments for people who have had spinal problems for many years. 那有很多病患呢，他的这个脊椎问题很多年的呢，他发现他用这个方式治疗的话呢，短时间就可以改善的很多。So the mechanisms we're working at are some way in behind here. Neurophysiology is very in the spring of development, but we still think that there is a lot of pain modulation going on at the spinal level. 那么这个呃，在一个神经学上面的话，我们呢都知道说，大家有研究过疼痛的这个这个转移的这个现象。那么在这个脊椎这边的疼痛的话呢，常常会呃一这个延、呃、这个蔓延到这个像脑部都会感觉得到。We also found the more aggressively we try to handle the pain level and modulate that, the better result we had. 那发现呢，如果很积极的去调制这个 pain 的话呢，它会得到比较好的效果。You all know when you give Shockwave therapy. It's very important that you communicate with the patient, and you actually produce a pain response. 那么呃，最主要的呢，要跟病患讲说，用这个震波的话呢，它会你要达到目的，就是希望他立即的可以有一个疼痛，有个呃回应，反映出感觉出来这种变化的感觉。So you have to be able to actually produce pain to alleviate pain afterwards. 换句话说，你治疗之后呢，能够必须要能够把它的疼痛能够 reduce 掉，或者是能够把它去除掉。So what we think is going on when we're treating spinal pain problems, chronic ones, is mainly something down here. We don't see the big changes here, but we see immediate changes here. 所以他发现呢，他做这个 spine 的 pain 的这个部分治疗的话呢，用这个呃 shock wave 的话，震波的话，发现对于这个 pain modulation 效果很明显，可是 tissue 的 repair 呢，没有那么大的明显。I'm just gonna skip through some of the slides and stop with other ones, so、uh, I'm just gonna point you to the right direction and most important questions. 好，那么有一些呢，他准备的呢，因为时间的关系，他把它跳过。如果有问题的话，可以在呃问答的时候再来问。Most of our research has been done on tendon pathology and muscular uh, pathology, and it shows that shockwave therapy is very effective and harmless for most conditions. 那以往呢，可能大部分的研究都是在这个肌腱的这个治疗上，以及这个肌肉治疗上面呢，呃，有蛮多的显示出来，它是蛮有效的。And it seems when we have to treat tendons and muscle, we have to be in this kind of energy level here. 那对于肌腱跟这个 muscle 部分的话，我们都知道它的 energy level 就是它现在列的那样子。But all the studies showed also that the higher treatment load, frequency, and amount of shock waves you deliver to the patient had a more favorable outcome. 那么他发现呢，如果他把 frequency 稍微提高一点，然后他的 shock wave 的时间缩短一点的话，来治疗的话，他的 outcome 会更好。So where are we evidence-wise around the spine? 那么在 spine 的在脊椎部分的话，有什么样的 evidence 呢？ We have very few clinical control uh, studies of good quality that we actually can look to. 那到目前为止，临床的这个 evidence 的话呢，非常有限。But the ones I left you in the notes show actually that chronic spinal pain patients uh, can get a very large relief of pain compared to a control group by using shockwave therapy. 那么他有这经过这个临床这个做过实验的话呢，他发现呢。有这个接受，呃，他有慢性 spine pain 的人呢，接接受这样的 shock wave 的治疗，效果呢，比没有的呢，要来的很好，好的很多。And these studies were done on chronic discogenic patients and osteoarthritis patients with lumbar stenosis who all responded well compared to the control group. 那么这些的话呢，他们都在经过这个这个整个的临床。呃呃，这个试验过，那么有对这个骨关节发炎的这种呃病症的人呢，他也做做过控制组的跟这个对照组的，他发现效果确实不错。Sometimes a picture says more than a thousand words。啊，所以他用这个照片来跟大家做解说。And this X-ray shows some degenerative changes here in the lower spine,、uh, cervical level。那这边的话呢，我们就可以看到他的颈椎这边呢，啊、呃，有一些他的这个钙化的这个情况。So we see decrease of the discs and、uh, calcifications at the vertebral end plates. 那么它的这个椎间盘的间隔呢缩短了，那么有产生钙化。What we also see with chronic spinal pain patients is is that their spinal curvature is not normal. We don't have a normal cervical lordosis. 啊，另外在颈椎这边呢，发现有这个问题的人呢，他的那个曲线啊 ，curve 呢是跟一般是不太一样，是不正常的。And why is that? 那为什么会这样子呢？ Can anybody explain me that? Ah,、uh, 有人可以解释吗？
它本来是应该是有一点往外曲上去的，现在是比较直的。I don't know the answer to that, but I'll give you a little theory now. 那它也没有非常正确的答案，不过它会讲一些个简单的理论。The other thing that these studies showed is that if you give shockwave therapy to the spine for chronic spine、uh, pain patients, they get lot better proprioception and balance. 那么他另外呢发现说，如果给这个慢性颈椎这个有疼痛的人呢做这样的一个震波这个治疗的话呢，他们是会呃这个慢慢会呃就是说得到的这样的一个比较呃 balanced 的效果，再平衡的效果。So when treating the spine, we have to look out for the sensitive structures which are around the spine. We don't want to go into the spinal cord or the spinal nerve roots. 那当然，在做这个颈椎治疗的时候呢，必须非常小心它的周边的一个组织，不要碰到它的 spinal cord 或者是它的 nerve 的这个部分。And we want to stay away from brain tissue。那当然，对于这个有很多的它的这个 tissue 呢，也要这个呃不要怕 touch 得到。And from the study showed, we want to be within these limits here。啊，它 study 显示出来，它现在指的是中间那个的 intensity， 那个的效果呢是它觉得最好的。But as I told you before, the further we go into the body, the deeper we go into tissues, the more energy we have to put into the treatment. 那么，呃，刚刚他讲过，如果你要更这个深度要更深入进去组织的话呢，你当然你的 energy 要稍微更强一点，才可以呃比较能够的整个能量下得去。So from our limited knowledge, we can see that we should lie in these uh, energy uh, uh, levels here around this. Amount of impulses and around this frequency. Ah, so he actually used the data here to show his energy, his impulse, how many times, and then his frequency, three to eight hertz. And the most studies that have been done have actually been given five to eight treatments. Most studies that have been done have actually been given five to eight treatments. Ah, so many studies that have been done have actually been given five to eight treatments. Ah, so many studies that have been done have actually been given five to eight treatments. Ah, so many studies that have been done have actually been given five to eight treatments. Treatment protocol is very weak and varies from study to study. 那现在问题就是说，这个每个研究出来的，它 treatment 的这个讲的这个内容呢都不一样。So we had to build our own treatment protocol and try out different equipment and tr different treatment protocols to find out which one was most effective. 啊，所以呢，他自己必须要 build 他自己的 protocol， 找出来用哪个机器，怎么样的一个呃参数是最好的。And again, with spinal problems, it looks like. That it does not stand alone. What seems to be most important is to work on the pain levels so the patient can start rehabilitation as fast as possible. 那么这个这个呃呃 spine 的这个 pain 呢，它并不是一个独立的一个单独的 pain。它发现呢，呃，相关有蛮多的一些个必须要来配合的，让它能够恢复比较快的，不是只有做这样的治疗。So already after one or two treatments, our patients start rehabilitation aggressively and are able to do it without pain. 那么他会要求他的病患做一两次治疗之后呢，要他自己本身也要去努力的做复健的工作来搭配，效果就会好。I'm gonna skip all this here that you already know。那这些可能大家都知道，他跳过。And then I'm just gonna introduce you to the therapy unit that we found most effective。好，那么这个他来讲说他最有效的，他是用的是哪样的一个方法 ？This treatment、uh, focal device here is made up of two layers of ceramics。哦，它这个这个头的话呢，它里头有装了两层的 ceramic 陶瓷的这个的装置在里头。And it produces a very homogeneous and concentrated amount of energy, which you can regulate very, very、uh, precisely. 那它的功能呢，就是会把它的 beam 呢，能够调制到非常精准的、非常这个聚焦的这样的一个效果。It's about two centimeters long and five millimeters in diameter. 那么它是两。呃，两 centimeter 的长度，那它的周那个 diameter 的说是五 millimeter 的这样的两个。But it reacts differently when it goes into the body tissues。那但是呢，它如果这个放到这个 body tissue 的话，它的会 reaction 会不一样。And for all shockwave devices, when you turn up the energy density, the focal zone becomes smaller. 那所有的这个 shockwave 的 device， 你把 energy 提高的话呢，它的那个 focal 的那个区域呢会越来越小。And the further you go into the body, the more energy is going to dissipate. 那
进去的身体组织越深入的话，它的 energy 呢会消散的更多。So when we work with this device, we actually work in these levels here, point, point zero two to point zero five. 所以呢，它在用的话是零点二 point two zero two, right? Two four two. 零点二四二一直到零点五那一代。What I always want you to do is, when you treat the spine, you treat it very specific areas. So you have to skin mark the area that you treat. So he does this spine treatment. So he must be very precise. So he will first mark the spot that he is treating. So when we have to start treating a patient, we have to examine them properly. So when we have to start treating a patient, we have to examine them properly. So when we have to start treating a patient, we have to examine them properly. What we have to find out is which structures are causing the pain. 那我们必须找出来说是什么样的一个 structure 造成它的疼痛。So you do a full physical and neurological exam to pinpoint the area which is producing the known pain. 所以说你可以用触诊的方式呢，或者说用这个呃神经性检验的方式来找出来它的这个真正的 structure 是哪一个 structure 造成 pain 的。And a clinical thing is that. It's very important that you ask the patient precisely where they have the pain. 那很重要的一点是，你要问这个病患，他非常的精准的告诉你他的痛点是在哪里。And then you have to examine the patient to find out if it's really the structures that are producing the pain. 那接着你就会在这个再检验一下，是不是就是那个 structure 造成他那个地方的 pain. So that means you have to train your palpatory skills. 换句话说，你的触诊的技巧呢，要这个经过训练。And you have to be very good at interpreting the、uh, the test that you actually use. 那你要用的这个测试 test 的这个呃这个装置，还有你要用的这个技术呢，要必须要很这个精准。And when you treat chronic spine patients, it's very important that you actually have some kind of radiographic evidence in form of X-rays or MRI scans. 那么，比如说你在诊断的时候呢，一些个这个造影的话，你也有可能用 MRI 或者 X-ray 这些。Which structures around the spine can produce pain? 那在这个 spine 的话，是哪一个 structure 呢会造成 pain 呢？造成疼痛 ？Lots of basic research has shown that we have three very, let's say, major structures which are producing pain. 那么很多研究显示呢，有三个 structure 呢，它会造成 spine 那边的附近的 pain. First of all, we have the spinal facet joints who can radiate pain in the neck this way or in the lumbar spine this way. 那么有在左边那边，比如说那个后颈那一带的那一个地方会造成它的 pain， 或者是在腰的部分。That's called referred pain pattern. 那么它的这个痛呢，它会去也这个转移的，所以它叫 referred pain 的一个图样。But unlucky for us who treat patients, we have other structures which produce pain too. 那当然，在我们治疗病患的话，还有一个 structure 会造成 pain. The nerve roots can be irritated, or the peripheral of the discus, and they give a more dermatonal pain, which is very quite distal. 那么，呃，一种的这个有一种 pain 的话是这个 dermatomal 的这个 pain 呢，就是皮上的这个 pain 呢，它的痛呢，它会 refer， 它会转移的。That also gives us a cue about where the problem is. 那么这个的话呢，也会造成一个问题，就是说你要找出问题点在哪里，比较困难。And at last, deep-seated bone pain can also create a sclerotomal referral pattern. 那么在这个骨节的这个部分的这个骨头部分的疼痛的话，它这个痛也会转移掉的。We see this pattern with degenerative joint disease, osteoarthritis, spinal stenosis, and on. 那么像这些图呢，都显示出在某个痛点的话，它那个痛呢，啊，比如说有这个骨的关节炎的话，它会那个痛会演转移掉。And often chronic pain patients will present with all three of them together. 那常常呢有疼痛的这个病患呢，他会把这三种的疼痛呢都一起混合起来呢，来这个跟你做解释。We also know from basic research that the necessity for spinal health is proper functioning of the deep paraspinal muscles. 那我们知道说这个如果这个呃脊椎的它的这个适当的这个运作的话，是呢它里头呢里头有一些每一个这个
呃，这个呃脊椎的这个中间呢，有一些 muscle 在深入的地方有 muscle， 适当的 muscle 在里面产生的运作。And we know that trigger points in the deep paraspinal muscles can also produce pain. 那么我们也知道说，在那边的深入的这个脊椎周边的这些 muscle 呢，它也会造成 pain。So which structures can we treat with shockwave? 那我们用震波可以治疗的是这个图上的哪个部位呢？ If we look at this anatomical structure, we can actually address the ligaments, the deep paraspinal muscles, and the facet joints. 那么刚才呢，他点的那几个呢，就是他说他可以治疗的。比如说，他的那个后面的那个呃，这个颈部的这个韧带后面那一条，还有这边是晶状组织它里头的那个 capsule 里面的那个部位。We know these structures are highly innervated by nerve ends. Are actually uh the main Cause to producing pain around the spine. 那我们也知道呢，它这边呢，周边都有一些神经组织的，他们这边会呃造成一些个 spine 的一些个疼痛。We want to stay away from the spinal cord and the spinal nerve roots. 所以说 spinal cord 哈，那么还有它的这个神经的部分呢，你要 stay away， 你不要去碰到。During the last 15 years, we've been studying electromyographic studies around the spine and found that the key Element to spinal health is proper spinal loading. 那我们的过去十五年来呢，对于这个这个 spine 的研究呢，发现说一个正常的 spine 的运作的话，必须要一个正常的 spine 的这个它的这个整个的 loading 啊，平均的分配。And the deep paraspinal muscles lying down here, they are actually responsible for loading the facet joints and the discs, and causing proper proprioception in the body. 那所以说，它现在这些呢，都是它这个。呃，在 spine 周边的这些一条一条的这个肌肉，如果他们是正常的话，他们是负责呢，在椎间盘的，还有各个这个一节节这个脊椎的部分的，它的适当的、适当的 loading 以及适当的这个运作的。What we see with all chronic spinal problems is that they have hypertonicity and weak paraspinal muscles. 那所以呢，很多慢性脊椎疼痛的呢，都是发现它这些肌肉的部分呢，有出了问题。So this is a transverse uh, view of the spinal column, and here you see the vertebrae, and these structures down here, facet joints and deep paraspinal muscles. That's where we want to aim our focal beam at. So, this is the view of the spinal column. This is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of the spinal column. So, this is the view of So with a little bit of practice, as I'll show you, you can actually localize the painful producing areas just with your hands in the lower cervical and lower lumbar region, where we see 95% of chronic pain patterns. So, he says, "90% of the time, the time of practice, you can do it with your hands. If you do it very well, in the lower cervical and lower lumbar region, you can find the pain of the pain in the lower cervical and lower lumbar region." So for the cervical spine, it's easiest to have the patient lying down, so they relax the muscles. Then you can go in just lateral to the spinal process and palpate the deep paraspinal muscles and the facet joints. Ah, so he, 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 If you find the right areas which reproduce the patient's pain, you're probably at the right area. 如果你在触诊的时候用压的方式，可以让他这个重新产生他的疼痛的话，那大致上就是那个点了。You of course have to correspond that to the rest of the examination and radiographic work. 那当然你要搭配其他的这个我们的这些检验的哈，用这个造影的方式在检验。So how deep are we? Uh, ultrasound scan is quite good at giving us a key. Uh, View at the anatomical landmarks. 那么，在这个超音波的方式的话呢，是也蛮好用的一台一个机器，可以让我们确实找到说它的这个我们要的这个深度。Even high-end ultrasound machines are not very good at visualizing spinal structures. 
那么一般的这个超音波的话，可能对于这个 spinal structure 呢，它可能不是可以照得那么清楚。But after we treated lots of patients, we scanned them all before to see how deep the structures were lying. 好，那么他治疗了一堆一些病人之后呢，他在 scan 的话，他可以看到说，他要治疗的那个点是有多 deep。This is a transverse scan of the spinal column. This is the spinous process, and down here we have the lamina. Okay, 那么他现在呢，就是在从上面下来的话呢，他的这个 spinal 的话是在上面那边白的下来到他打十字那边，就是他要这个 touch 的那个点。And、I'm just going to give you a quick course in how to read these because out here we have some figures which actually indicate how many centimeters down we are. 哦，他那个这边垂直坐标就是几个 centimeter， 几个公分。So with an average person, we have the lamina down around three or four centimeters. 那一般来讲的话呢，平均在这个部位的话是三到四 centimeter. The nerve root actually comes out here about six centimeters down, and the spinal canal, sorry, oh, and the spinal canal is also at this level here. 那么呃 ，spinal 的这个 canal 就是这个脊椎腔呃，还有那个 nerve 大概在六公分那一带。So if we use a gel pad about two or three centimeters, we will localize the beam. Which is produced with a new pizza wave device in exactly that area without giving damage to the other structures. So he used the gel pad. So he could very clearly put energy to the point of about three centimeters, so it won't go down. So it won't hurt the bottom. Here's a transfer scan just to see it. Here we got the facet joints lying down here, and they're lying about two or three centimeters down. So we have to go much further to get into the sensitive structures. 啊，所以呢，它这一张图显示出来，那边底下那边就是这个小面的这个关节的部分，它要在它的底下的 muscle 要 touch 得到，所以大概在三公分左右。And when we treat the cervical region, we have the patient lying down and retract their chin, so they bring up the joints and the uh, uh the deep paraspinal muscles. 啊，所以呢，它让它这个俯卧，然后呢，让头往下低，所以会把它的那个呃 joint 呢，把它这个浮显出来。啊，然后就比较容易。And we always use skin marking at the spinous and transverse process, so we know exactly where we are while we treat the patient. 所以呢，我们一定要在 mark 先 mark 出来，在他的 spine 的两边就知道，说到时候治治疗的点很精准在哪里。So what we see with long-standing、uh, chronic spinal problems is that we have weak and hypertonic deep paraspinal muscles. 啊，那么我们发现呢，慢性的有 spine 的疼痛的这个病患呢，他们通常在肌肉呢都会有这个肌萎的现象，以及肌肉非常紧张的这样现象。After a few months of pain at the spine, we see fat infiltration in these deep paraspinal muscles. They lose their power. 那么在几个月之后呢，发现说他痛了几个月之后呢，他的那个脂肪呢就渗入到筋去，原来是在肌肉的那个部分，那么就。呃，等于说这个侵蚀到了肌肉了。We see loss of spinal proprioception and normal curvature. 那么有看到了很多这个现象的话呢，它就是就就刚刚他讲，它那个它那个曲线呢就变掉了，颈椎的曲线就变了。And especially spinal pain has the ability to sensitize over time, so it gets worse the longer time it persists. 那呃。这个慢性疼痛的病患呢，经过长时间之后呢，他的疼痛的敏感度会越来越敏感。Potentially, shock waves has the ability to alter all these factors. 那如呃，这个我们的这个震波呢，有可能呢，把前面讲的这些现象都可以把它这个转变掉。And we found, I can't explain why, that this device does it very, very fast and very effectively without producing any adverse effects. 那呃，他没有办法解释原因为什么，但是他用这台机器的话呢，可以很快、很这个、这个非常有效的把刚才那些负面现象都把它转换出来、转转移掉。Just to illustrate that, this is an MRI scan of a young patient with a disc prolapse. Here we have the discus. Here we have the、um, the spinal canal. Here we got a fat, nice nerve root, and here we have a compressed nerve root. It's always gone. 那么这边是一个年轻的病患呢，他刚刚那个镭射笔直的那边，左边、中间、左边那边是一个正常的 nerve， 右边是一个 nerve 被压缩掉了以后的现象。This patient had only had her disc prolapse for six weeks, but we already see massive fat infiltration, which are these white areas in the deep paraspinal muscles. 
啊，那么他也这个疼痛呢，大概只有六个星期左右，他的那个脂肪呢已经渗入到他现在就变成白色的那个地方。This is the same patient seen from the side. Here we see the disc prolapse down here, a dehydrated disc, and pressing on the spinal nerve. 那么这是侧面呢，看出来他的那个椎间盘呢已经变形，往外凸出去了，顶出去了。So we see normal pair of spinal muscles lying here, which are black. Just after a few months, we see this fat infiltration. And massive fat infiltration in the deep paraspinal muscles. 那这是他三张最左边那个画是一个正常的哈，也只有 muscle 的一点点 fat 的，中间是 fat 越来越多，到了右边是很严重的这个脂肪。So these muscles are not capable of actually loading the spine proper. So we get pro improper loading of facet joints and discs, which cause a chronic pain pattern. 所以呢，因为这样的关系呢，是那个肌肉呢就不够多，没有办法很适当的 load 这个给他正常的 load 给你的那个 disc， 然后也没有办法正常的让他的这个 spine 的能够运作，所以就造成了呃 pain。So shock waves can potentially modulate pain and regenerate tissue which has degenerated。那么，所以这个震波的话呢，它可以调节 pain， 同时可以再再生它的 tissue 出来。Lower down the spine, at the lumbar spine, we have the same structures that look a little bit different. Ah, 那么这是腰这个腰部的这个 spine 呢，它的结构呢，呃，很类似，只有一点差异。But it's still we're still able to actually address the deep paraspinal muscles and the facet joints without causing any effect to the other sensitive structures. 那也是一样的哈，它的疼痛的那个来源也是跟它的这颈椎部分是一样，因为呃，深层的它的那个 spine 的肌肉。啊，受到了 fat 的侵蚀之后。The only thing is that they lie a bit deeper, so we have to get the focal shock wave beam deeper down into the tissues and use higher energy levels. 那在腰部的这个 spine 的话呢，唯一的差别跟颈部不一样是它的深度更深入，所以你要用比较更深的这个 energy， 然后更比较强的 energy. Luckily, they are rarely more than four to five centimeters in depth, and this device can go down to six centimeters. 啊、uh, ，那么一般这些的位置大概四到五个 centimeter， 那么这个 device 它可以直呃这个达到六个 centimeter， 所以它是啊、uh, 可以用的。Just to illustrate this, trigger points and injured deep paraspinal muscles actually cause the biggest pain referral in the spine. 那么这这张图只是解释说它的 trigger point， 它的这个扳机点的位置在它的这个背部以及它的这个腰的地方。So these are the ones we actually want to affect. We want to initiate an activation of the muscle, a neurological activation of the muscle, and start some regeneration of this fat, of this fat infiltration. So, he wants to hit those few trigger points, then again regenerate his muscle and his tissue. When we MR scan these patients after three to six months, we actually see the fat infiltration much less. Ah, when we MR scan these patients after three to six months, we actually see the fat infiltration much less. Ah, when we MR scan these patients after three to six months, we actually see the fat infiltration much less. Ah, when we MR scan these patients after three to six months, we actually see the fat infiltration much less. Ah, when we MR scan these patients But at some, but only after a few treatments, the fat infiltration is much less. But at some, but only after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in the fat infiltration. But at some, but only after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain levels. So, after a few treatments, we see a large decrease in pain 那么像这个部位呢，也是在后腰的这边的这个部位呢，那他发现这几个 trigger point 来做的话呢，非常有效。And these structures nearly always reproduce the patient's symptoms. 那么像这里的话呢，你去这个治疗它的话呢，你都可以重新再把它的它的这个症状呢 reproduce 出来，来证明说它的点在哪里。I'll just skip through them very fast here. Oh, sorry. Still, we use two different tests to find the exact levels we have to treat in the lower spine. 那么我们这边还是一样的，要全一定要找到说它的这个呃点在哪里，来来治疗它的这个下的后背的这个 pain 在哪里。Apart from the physical physical examination, we found that deep P to A pressure at the interspinous levels was most indicative of the level of pain. 那么他呢，在这边就是重新 reproduce 他的 spine 的这个这个痛点呢，他发现呢，他重新用触触诊的方式，用往下压的方式呢，他可以 reproduce 它
and it corresponded very well to the radiographic signs of disc involvement. 那么它的这个反应呢是相当不错的，可以这个呃比较很精准的找到它的点。For facet joint involvement, we found that sitting, rotational, and extension movement while you actually challenge the facet joints were very reliable. 那有 facet joint 那个小面这个关节的的情况的话，他请他坐着。然后呢，他去用这样的方式去做这个 test. So if these tests were possible, we actually target the deep paraspinal muscles and the posterior facet joint. 所以像这样的话呢，他是刚才躺着的那个比较深入的这样的一个呃 muscle 呢，他也可以这个呃找得到。还有这个 facet joint 的部分呢，他也用这个方式也可以找得到。So they had to be present if you wanted to be successful with the treatment. 啊，所以呢，如果要成功的话呢，一定就是。呃，让这个的这个当场在这边做，然后呢，让这个呃他的姿势呢要做的对才可以。In practicality, when you see patients, nearly most of them will have problems, long problems at the lower cervical level and the low lumbar level. 那么很多常常看到病患呢，会有这样的一个，就是后背的那个部部分的这个疼痛，以及下这个腰的部分的疼痛。And normally, you only have to treat one to three segments to be successful. 那通常只要治疗一到三个 segment 就可以成功了。So to get the structure superficially,、uh, when treating the back and low back, we have the patient lying face down. 那么要做这个后背的的话，当然就是让他让他俯俯卧下去。And you can put a pillow underneath the tummy so they actually、uh, kyphose a little bit in the low back. 啊，那么放个枕头在他的腹部呢，让他好像这个背部可以稍微的拱起来一下。Thoracic spine. We see that the lamina is is a little bit further down, about four centimeters. 那刚才这个部位大概在四公分的深度。And that the lumbar spine. Sorry, I keep on doing this. And that the lumbar spine is nearly five to six centimeters down. 啊，那么腰的部分大概四到六的中间那一带。Of course. Further down with males than with females. 那男性会比女性更深一点。So just to mention a few uh, uh, case stories that we have here, just to see which kind of patients we included. 啊，他举两个一两个 case 来说明一下，他是有什么样的一个改善。We had a 54-year-old woman with、uh, six to seven years of chronic neck pain. 那五十四岁的女性，六七年的这个这个颈部的疼痛，局部的。She's tried all kind of、uh, physical therapy and pain、uh, medicine therapy without any effect. 那做了各种的治疗都没有效果。This is how they typically look on an X-ray. We see loss of cervical lordosis, degenerative joint disease at the lower、uh, and mid cervical level. 那这边你可以看得到，他从 X-ray 照出来的这个情况在颈椎的部分。Typically, they have most of the pain when they rotate and extend the necks. 那么通通常呢，他转头的时候或仰头的时候呢就很痛。And have diffused radiating pain into the arms and upper back. 那有的时候呢会甚至辐射到这个手背这个痛。This patient I treated for six months、uh, with my own manual therapy and exercise therapy without any effects. 那么这个呢，他先治疗了六个月，那么用他的这个 the manual therapy， 那么其他 therapy， 然后没有什么效果。After two shockwave treatments, she had a 90% relief of pain and full function of her movement in the neck. 那后来她给她两个 treatment 的这个 shockwave 之后呢，她这个百分之九十的 pain 呢都 reduced 掉了。The structure still still look the same, but the muscle guarding and pain level decreased almost immediately. 那这照出来片子的这个 structure 还是一样，可是它的 pain 呢却降低了非常多。So we think that what we are affecting when we are giving shock waves around the spine is that we normalize muscular movement and tension, normal um, uh, curvature, and we somehow modulate pain very, very fast. 那他呃认为说呃呃原因应该是说他用 shock wave 的话呢，让他 muscle 的这个功能呢，他 normalize 它了，就正常化它。然后呢，把他的这个 muscle 的 curve 呢恢复到原来的正常，所以说他就能够 function 比较正常，那 pain 呢就可以调节掉。Here we have another 37-year-old year woman with four years of right-sided low back pain radiating into her upper leg. 那三十七岁女性四年的这个右边右下背的疼痛。
那么因此，福斯道的这个臀部以及大腿外侧。She had degenerative lesions on MRI and X-ray. 那么她呢，也这个做了这个呃、uh, X-ray. And this was also a patient of mine which I had treated for several years only with short-term relief after treatment. 那么之前她也是治疗她的好几年呢，都是只有短期的能够让她疼痛消消除掉。She was scanned before and after treatment, and as you can see, just after a few treatments. She had massive pain reduction and was able to actually perform rehabilitation after three treatments. 那之前的话呢，她的行动也不是那么的方便。那么她后来接受这个 shock wave 的治疗之后，之前之后她也照出来，她能够非常的 pain 呢能够降低的非常多，她的这个行动功能也会这个恢复的非常好。When we rescanned her after half a year, she had no fatty infiltration, but she still had. Disc lesions, but they didn't produce any pain anymore. 那么六个月之后呢？他再去这个治疗之后再去照他的话，他那个 fat 呢已经没有了。那但是呢，他也呃这个呃脊椎呢，他那个 disc 的还是有点突出，可是他已经不痛了。So we cannot always trust radiological work. We have to look at the clinical symptoms. 所以呢。呃，通常的话，你你要看他的这个 symptom， 那比较准，不是说只有用他的这个呃 radiological 的这个工作就可以了。So we use two parameters to actually see if we're successful. One is pain reduction. The other one is return to full function. 啊，所以他用两个参数看他这个呃效果好不好。一个 pain reduction 多少，一个呢是不是恢复到 full function。I I think that we should give you all a break from listening to me talking, and I will start demonstrating the treatment on a poor patient in here somewhere. 那他觉得讲的话就到此先告一个段落，希望他现在就开始现场可以展示出来，给有哪一哪一些人呢可以现在到前面来。The treatment is oh, we got one here. Let's give here the young man a hand here. 好，我们来鼓掌一下子，有一个第一位。What I'm going to tell you here is not rocket science. The application is quite simple. There's only a few things you have to concentrate about when you give this treatment to the spine. 啊，那他说治疗这个 spine 的话呢，你就是必须要 concentrate 有几件事情注意到就可以了。So let's have the patient up here. Maybe a little. So we'll have to first examine the patient to see if the pain in the shoulder is coming from the neck. 所以他的肩膀的疼痛呢？那他检查一下，那个痛是不是来自于 neck？ Otherwise, it's he's not a good candidate. Can you sit here? Yeah. Okay. So point to where you have the pain. Yes. And when do you have the pain? All the time when you use your arm or. 用手就痛了吗？ Usually, it is not not, but I use my finger touch. It's, it's tender there. Okay. So what we're gonna do first is just to palpate the spine, the spine's pros, to see if they produce any pain. Okay. He first use the needle method to palpate the spine, to see if they produce any pain. Okay. He first use the needle method to palpate the spine, to see if they produce any pain. Okay. He first use the needle method to palpate the spine, to see if they produce any pain. Okay. He first use the needle method to palpate the spine, to see if they produce any pain. Okay. He first use the needle method to palpate the spine, to see if they produce any pain. Okay. He first use the needle method to palpate the spine, to see if they produce any pain. Okay. He first use the needle method to palpate the spine, to see if they produce any pain. Okay. He first use the needle method to palpate the spine, to see if they produce any pain. Okay, 他这边找到了 trigger point. Okay. When we want to elicit spinal pain, we have to test movement. So can I have you look to the left as far as you can? Turn your head. 看左边，尽量看左边。转，对对。Any pain? 有痛吗 ？Down here. No. Try the other side. 另外一边。No. Look downwards. And down. No. No. Upwards. So you look any pain there? No. No. So I have to palpate the patient, and it's quite simple. You just have the patient relax the head into your hand. You put your hands just lateral to the spinal process and the musculature. 自然的放到他的 spine 的那个地方转。And you turn the head until you can feel the facet joints coming out under your fingers. Okay, 可以感觉到他那个 facet joint 呢，小面关节可以，他手就可以摸得到，感觉得到。And you feel for any muscle guarding or pain producing movement. Do that on both sides.
we have quite good movement. So we just feel the upper thoracic spine, and then we do some spinal compression over the facet joints to see if they produce pain. So take the head. 它 facet joint 呢，它用手去压它的 spine. Rotate it maximally, extend it, and press. Yes. Where do you have the pain? 痛在哪 ？Here. Okay. So by compressing his lower cervical spine and actually impacting his facet joints, it reproduces the tension or pain in his levator scapula. So he pushes his lower cervical spine, and when he pushes his facet joint, it creates the pain in his facet joints. We do the same to the other side. Same to the other side. Any pain there? No. No. If you get skilled. You can use your index and middle finger and actually go in and compress the joint while you do it. Ah, 用食指、中指，然后这样像他这样做。And then you can sometimes feel where you got some blocking and hypertonicity. Ah, 就可以感用手指头会感觉到哪边有 blocking. Now I want the patient lying down so I can actually feel the the structures, the muscular structures, without him tensing up the muscles. Okay, 那麻烦您躺下了。You're lying down here. Face up. Yes. Shoes off. It's very important that the patient relaxes and feel comfortable. Ah, 要让他放松 Do you want us to play some music for you? 哈哈，来点音乐吧 Thank you. And lie down. Okay, we just have you a little bit to the side here. That's it. And just take off your glasses. So having the patient lie down. Localize the the spinous processes underneath. You go just lateral to them, and if you dig in with your index and middle finger here, ah, 食指中指往下压，往里面压 You will be able to go through the muscular tissues and actually palpate the facet joints. 那这样子就可以呢，帮忙你碰触到他的那个肌肉，还有他的组织 I go in here and ask the patient, is that tender? No, no, no. Tender here? No. No. Nothing here. No. I go all the way down here. Any tenderness there? Compare over here. We are deep down in his neck now, and it's harder to feel down there because there's more muscular tissue. So it's hard to go in and palpate in the deep. Ah, 很难这个深入到里面触诊，因为他那个有一些也有肌肉在那边了。It's even hard for me to feel what's going on down there. So we'll use the shockwave therapy device as a diagnostic tool. I'm now going to try and. Localize the lower facet joints and deep muscular tissues to see if they are responsible for the pain and tension over the levator scapula. So he will use his machine to diagnose the pain and tension over the levator scapula. Face down. Can I have you tuck your chin in the other way? No, this other way. That's it. Can you take off your shirt for me, sorry? Take off. Yeah. This machine has three headpieces. This is the not as powerful one. I always use the other one here. No, no, the other one. Yeah. Now, this machine has three heads. It's always using this one. Okay. Normally, I would ultrasound scan the patient so I can see how deep down the structures are lying. 通常他会用哦，呃，这个这个超音波去照哈，然后发看他的那个深度有多深。But after many years of practice, I know if, what depth it's in. 那现在他已经不用了，他是因为经验很多，他知道大概深度是多少。So we use a lot of gel, so we don't have any air bubbles, which will prevent the shock waves from coming out. 那么他用很多的那个胶哈 ，gel， 他不要让里头有气泡，否则的话，他的那个。呃，那个震波呢，可能会被阻阻隔掉。And with this patient, 
normally I would use a three millimeter, a little bit higher, but I use a forty millimeter gel pad. 他用四十个 millimeter 的这个 gel pad， 那么来做这个这个部位。Press in the gel pad so all the air bubbles disappear. 好，让它压紧，没有气泡。It's very important that you use a lot of gel. If you just have a little bit, a little area which doesn't produce the shock waves, it will give the mark different result. 那很重要的呢，你刚才涂的那个 gel 呢，一定要够量要够，不要有里头有这个 air bubble， 否则的话，会这个它的那个 energy 呢会被阻隔掉。Because we're treating low cervical, I want to get the structures a little bit further up, so I'll put this underneath his chest. 他放在这个，哎，这个下巴那边，因为他要做的部位是在后颈部，要让那边能够突出一点。And tucking the chin, you can see that did perfect. That did a lot of difference here. 你就看到它差异了。So it does two things. It brings up the tissues that you want to get to, but you also also open up the facet joints and stretch the capsule. The more you stretch them, the more surface area do you have to get into, and, and you can affect at the same time. Ah, 这样子的话呢，把 tissue 也凸出来，看得很清楚，而且它那个 facet joint 呢，也能够看到，能够打开那个地方。It's the same principle as with tendon diseases. 啊，那就跟这个 tendon 跟那个肌腱的做法是一样的这个原理。A lot of gel. 很多的 gel. And now we try and use this device to seek the known pain. So I'm going to communicate with the patient and go over the lower levels at the cervical spine and ask him if that produces the pain that he normally has. Yeah, he normally I would palpate out the spinous processes and, and skin mark them. Okay, 这个用手去触诊他的后颈椎，然后呢，会把它画这个 mark 起来。What you have to take into consideration, you're actually working down in this zone here, and when you just angle the probe a little bit, it will cause a long,、uh, it will cause the focal zone to actually deviate quite a lot. So it's very important that you hold the device with two hands and keep it exactly on the same spot that you treat. 那么他刚才这个演示的就是说，他的两只手要抓得很稳定，然后垂直的九十度的角度放下去，不要斜掉，否则的话的，他那个 energy 就会不一样。And a key element around the spine is that you stay on the spot, the painful spot, until the pain gets less. 那么他的关键点就是呢，把它放在他痛点上，一直达到他的痛越来越减轻的时候，呃，为止。So I tell the spine. Oh, sorry, it's fine. <laughs> Tell the patient that I want to communicate in numbers and not in words. 那他现在会跟病患沟通，就是放上去开始治疗的时候呢，会叫病患讲你的痛是大概是等于几个呃，用那个数字去讲。So where ten is the most severe pain they can imagine, and zero is no pain. 零就是不痛了，十是最痛。And normally, the patient can tolerate about. Seven or so. 一般到七还可以忍受，很大部分的病人。And if they leave the office immediately, then you have turned up the machine too much. Yeah, 如果说呢，他那个立刻就起来走人，就代表你已经做的太多了。We also found that with higher frequency you work, the faster you will modulate the pain. 啊，他发现了频率越高，他 modulate pain 的效果越好。I don't know why,、uh, but it has something with pain physiology to do. So normally, just to make the patient adapt, we start with a low frequency and low energy, and turn it up until the patient can experience the pain. So, in general, from low frequency, low energy, start, gradually, gradually, let the patient feel the pain. Then, we go down. So we start here. <coughs> Do you feel any pain here? No. So I turn up the frequency first, and the energy levels, and we just angle the probe in here. Any pain here? 
a little. So we are about C5, 6 level now here. So I'm going to increase the energy a little bit. And I'm going to hold it here. Where do you feel the pain? Just in the low neck? Is the pain just here? Or does it go in here? Hello. <laughs> so you tell me when the pain goes away. More pain here. That means it's pain. Any pain here? No? Go down here. Any pain here? OK. So what you do is to start with, you angle the pro 45 degrees. You go up and down the spine to see if you can provoke the pain that the patient has. That way, we target the deep paraspinal muscles. So I'm going to treat them first. Yeah, Okay, this is about C6, C7 level. What kind of pain do you have? How high? From zero to ten? Maybe five points. Five. Okay. Uh, Tell me when it goes down. 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 How much pain? Six. Six. Yeah. And I stay on the spot for at least 300 shots or until the pain dissipates. Facet joint now. Facet joint. Yeah, and the deep muscles. So I angle it 45 degrees and 90 degrees. It has 45 degrees, then it has 90 degrees. Now it's the facet joint. This is the small joint in the middle. How much is the pain now? Five. Five. Five to six. So I stay on it still. Okay, now it's seven. You stay on it. So at 400 shots now. So you have to be patient. Oh, yeah, very nice. How much pain? That's a little bit of reduction now after 600 shots. You by shot one, then he has the pain reduced a little bit from seven to five. And first time the treated patient, sometimes they won't get relief. Sometimes it only comes after the second or third treatment. Ah, 有的时候第一次来 treatment 的话，可能痛不会降低，不会减轻。第二次、第三次以后，就开始显现效果。What you always do around the spine, spine we found, is that you have to treat both sides, also the other side. So I get into the same level, angle it at 45 degrees. 一样的，在另外一边四十五度。How much is the pain there? What level? Pain level. Six. Tell me when it gets less. Now? Seven still, so we wait. 300 shots. Stay at the same spot. Pain 
now. Same. Keep on holding it here. Now. The same. We haven't had any pain relief, but he's had 500 shots, so I move it a little bit straight down to get the facet joint. It's already at eight, but he's still lying down. Now, that's a little bit better. I'm just going to give it a few hundred shocks more. To death. Um, good question. How do we determine the set settings relative to depth? The deeper you go, the higher you have to turn up the energy because more refraction and dissipation you have from the beam. And it's very individual. So I go by biofeedback, I go by the, lay, uh, um, the, the level of pain that the patient describes. And it's different. Some people are very muscular. They absorb more of the shock wave. Some have more fatty tissue, which absorbs less. Um, so the bony tissue can also refract a lot of the beam. So the smaller the bony structure, the less energy you have to use. So in general, the smaller the anatomy, the less energy you have to use. Ah, so you just said how to decide how much is the energy is how much is the energy is how much. That he said it's individual. That you have to look at the person's body and the amount of energy in the body and the shape. 那通常骨骼的结构比较小的，它会比较需要的能量少，因为它吸收的会比较少，还有它的折射会比较小一点，所以要看每一个人的情况不一样。So it's not an exact science around the spine. We have to work with the energy levels just like we work at the rest of the body with tendinopathies, but we are working in deeper areas, so we have to go by what we communicate with our patients. 所以呢，它并不是有这个一一成不变的一个公式，就是要跟配合你的 energy 是多少，然后要深入到几个呃 centimeter 来决定，那就跟你做 tendon 的这个方式，它的原理是一样的。After 25 years of practice, where I just treated trigger points and muscular tension up here, I found that they often came back. 啊，那么他做了二十五年的这个。呃，这个部位的这个 trigger point 以及它的这个肌肉 muscular 这样的一个治疗，他们这个病患都是在都会回来回诊。So what we find is that we treat the deep paraspinal tissues. We often get rid of the trigger points which lie in the most superficial structures. 啊，那么他这个发现说，他如果说治疗的这个治疗的这个几次之后呢，他的一些一个表面的这个 structure 的那个 trigger point 慢慢慢慢就会这个解除掉，就是痛呢就会解除掉。It is hard to palpate the facet joints in the very low cervical spine around the cervical thoracic junction. 啊，那么第一，这个颈椎下部的部分的它那个 muscle 的那个痛点很难去触这个用触摸的方式去发现到它的。So you have to use the therapeutic device to palpate for you and see if that reproduces the pain. Ah, 因此你要用那个机器来辅助你去找到它能不能够找到它能够痛点 reproduce 它的痛 But as a clinician, you go in afterwards and you palpate the same muscle and ask for tenderness. How does it feel? 那现在治疗完了再问他哈，他用这样子压的方式问他是不是会痛呢？现在。How's it feel? Better than before? 比以前好。Yes, but I think maybe it has the ten points. Okay. 
I can feel a change in tension of the muscle. 他可以感觉到他的 muscle 的这个 tension， 他的那个紧张的程度放松，还是有痛。So we'll try and test, retest the facet joint to see how much pain it's giving. 好，再看他的 facet joint， 重新再测试一次。How does it feel now? Then we try the movement. You can feel that the joint play is better too. Okay, 感觉到它的那个 joint 那个转转动会比较更好了 So we get an immediate result, but this patient should have three, four treatments, I would guess, and then start some rehabilitation to work on the spinal movement to get rid of the problem. 那么立刻有一些改善了啊，但是他觉得这个这位先生的话要做至少做三到四次，然后要配合。这个运动复健，然后才会效果更好。Thank you, sir. Let's give him a hand. <笑>还有第二位。We have a challenge when we try to evaluate the deep structures of the spine. It's not always you can palpate joint function and muscular tension、uh, validity. 啊，那么如我们一般呢、啊？要去触诊深度深一点的 muscle 的 tissue 的部分的话，都会比较有挑战性的，不是那样子一下子就可以找得到。So you have to use the tests that are available, try to see if you can reproduce the pain, and test the muscle tension and joint movement before and after treatment. 啊，所以呢，一定要用一些个其他的测试和仪器搭配着，找到它的真正的那个呃 trigger point 在哪边，然后呢，之。做之前之后呢，要互相做个比较，看做的效果怎么样。When I just examined the patient, I was not able to actually feel the low facet joints due to his muscles. 啊，因为他有肌肉的关系在后面，所以很难去找到他的用触触摸的方式很难找到他这个 facet joint， 就是他的那个小的关节。But that's where this can do the job for you. 那因此可以用这个机器来搭配，那帮忙你。Second, second patient. Second patient. Why do we have a problem here? Low back. Low back. Great. Low back patient. Oh, is <laughs> 下腰的这个问题 It fits just into the practice here. Okay. How long have you had the pain for? Three, four months. And how did it come? Just suddenly. Burn like that. Motorcycle accident. Motorcycle accident. Have you had any treatment? Yeah, I got. I've been uh, physical therapy for three months. Three months. With exercises and massage therapy and mobilization and okay. Has it become better? Standing and sitting a long time is not good. Oh, and where do you have the pain? Can you point to it? Here. Do you have any pain into your leg? 脚呢？腿部 No. Okay. So we're just going to give a very quick exam. You stand with your back. 他是韩国人 Okay. Try and bend forward as far as possible you can with straight legs. Does that cause any pain? No. Come up again. Bend backwards. Pain. Normally, there's a 90% coincidence if you have pain on flexion and sitting. It's a very high reliability that you have some sort of discal pain origin. Ah, 他这边的话，如果像他刚刚那样疼痛的话，很有可能就是他的 discal， 就是比较是椎间盘的这种痛。他说他已经治疗过三个月，治疗完一下子好，过一下子又不行了。So we'll try and see if we can find the point of pain right now. So if you can sit here, just facing that way. I'm just going to pull up here. Normally we'll do a full neurological examination and do some radiographic workup. Have you been had done an MRI scan or X-ray? Did it show anything?
spondylosis or spondylolisthesis? Uh, Spon spondylolisthesis. Okay. So we have a little, uh, a little anatomical variance here. We, she has um, a vertebrae which has moved anteriorly. Looks like low back spine. You can have them without causing pain. Uh, but they can also be elicited by a sudden injury, like a motorcycle incident. So again, I'm going to try and localize each level by pressing on the spinous processes, rotating the spine, lateral side bending, and extending it to compress the facet joints and see if I can elicit the pain that the patient has. So I put pressure on the patient. I press on the lowest vertebrae of the spine. I side bend, rotate. Any pain here? No? Here? Yes? Up here? Not? In here? Not here? So it's like L4-5 level. I'm going to do the same here. L4-5 level. Any pain here? No? Okay. Try and lie face down. Stomach. Perfect. So we find the iliac crests. If we go straight over, you'll find the fourth lumbar spinous process. So I go down to L5 spinous process. I palpate between L5 spinous process and the sacrum and press down. Pain here. Yes. I move one segment up into spinous process here. Pain. One step up again. Pain here. No. One step up again. Pain here. No. So there's pain on the two lowest levels in the spine pressing down. I try and go lateral and palpate the muscular tissue on top of the spine. And I go lateral to get into the quadratus lumborum and palpate the muscle attachments and the transverse processes. So we have localized pain down here. So I'm just going to, in the blind, go in and try and treat the paraspinal muscles and the facet joints on those two levels. I'll give them 300 to 500 shots on each side and see if the pain and movement is going to change at all. 所以他已经找到了，在他那个脊椎左右两边的肌肉那边的疼痛，他现在要那个机器加三百到五百下子开始，看他能不能够捋力，他的这个pain。And this young woman is a forty millimeter gel pad. I can see. 他用四十个 millimeter 的 gel pad. Lots of gel. And I start with a frequency around five or six. And I start with a approximately 0 uh, 0.23 millijoules at this level here, and I work my way up. We have the same process. I find the L5 spinous process. I angle the probe. 45 degrees. And they ask the patient, can you feel anything here? Yes? How bad is the pain from 0 to 10? 4. So I increase the frequency and I search. I go over the facet joints here. Pain here. Yes? I go one level up. Any pain here? Yes. Over the facet joint. Pain there. I go one level up. 
pain here? No? Only a little bit. So it seems like the pain that we actually create is at the two lowest levels. So always search with the device to see if your palpatory findings actually are the same as your examination findings are. 那就是先触诊之后再用机器来辅助,它是在最低的两个这个level那边的这个pain,它现在已经找到。And how bad is the pain here? From 0 to 10? What? 6. Okay, I stay here, and we give her at least 300 shocks until her pain starts to dissipate. Yeah, 停在那边至少给300个shots,然后慢慢让它疼往下降。the pain now. Same. Four or five. We give her just a hundred shots more. I'd like to see the pain go at least one or two or three uh, levels down, if it's possible. Sorry? Okay. So I'm going to move it straight down, 90 degrees. How's the pain here? Just two. Six. Yes. I hold it here again for at least 300 shocks at 90 degrees. And at the low lumbar level, we found that very often we see the quadratus lumborum being involved too. So you have to angle the probe at the low lumbar level a little bit lateral, about 10 to 15 degrees, to get into those fibers too. So it usually goes down to 5 to 10 to low level of the muscle. How's the feeling here? No pain? No pain? 3, 4, okay. That was not very much out there, so I go up to the next Level, and here, yes. How much pain there? Ten. <laughs> so I turn it down. Ten. No good. And now? Seven. So I'm a good boy again here. So I stay here for 300 shots. You tell me when it decreases again. Still seven? Six. I'm going to turn it 90 degrees down. Pain here. What level? Nine. Is it okay? So I'm just going to give it a few shocks here. OK, it goes down. And we're going to address the other side. Always treat bilaterally. We don't know why, but it's a three-dimensional structure. And if you have muscular adaptation on one side of the spine, you'll often find some problems at the other side too. So it always has to treat the two sides. Pain here? The other side is also a problem, so it always has to treat the two sides. Okay, so I turn it down. Pain here? Sorry? How much? A little bit. Six. Seven. So I hold it here. 45 degrees to start with. Four. I'm going to turn it straight down. And here. No pain. Four. 
I'm just going to give it 300 shots to here. I'm moving it up. I'm going to decrease it again. It's very remarkable that uh, when I go up to a L4-5 level, it's significantly uh, worse than the other levels. How much? Right, I turn it down. Now. How is it now? Six. Just going to give it 300 shots here too. And I'm going to go straight down. Pain here. How much? Seven. If the patient falls asleep, they've had enough. If he falls asleep, he's been asleep. OK. We know that with uh, shockwave therapy, uh, just after the treatment, the patients can be uh, Numbed a little bit, so they don't feel the same pain. Ah, we know that in treating the shockwave treatment after the treatment, the patient will often feel a little bit numb, so they won't feel the pain in that moment. That is only temporary. Normally, when we treat tendons, ah, usually when we treat the tendons, there is this phenomenon, but it is temporary. When we treat the spine, we see a long-lasting result with these chronic patients most often. So I'm just going to palpate here again. 啊，那么 spine 的部分的话，比较不会有这个现象，所以他要立刻再触诊一下。How does it feel here? No much pain. Okay, and try and sit up. Oh, have to get up again. Oh yeah, and you just face that way. Perfect. I want to see if I can feel any increase in joint movement. And in pain level, joint movement in the pain area will not increase the movement. So I'm going to come in here. Yeah, we still have some tension down there. I'm just going to come over here. And not much here. And try and come up here and stand. Okay. She stand with you back towards me. I'm just going to... And you bend forward as far as you can. Try and reach the floor. And we look at the close movement and come up again. And try and bend backwards. How's it feel back here? Okay. What's most impressive here is that beforehand, when the patient came up, there was a sudden kind of guarding of the muscles. They tensed up just before the pain actually started properly. Right now, I can bend the patient's back over my hand without this muscle guarding. So what does it tell us? It tells me practically that we have an oversensitization of these muscles controlling the joints, and they over produce pain patterns and muscular tension. If we can reset them neurologically, then we can start rehabilitating the area very fast. And you can do both with a few treatments. Thank you very much. He said, he was very nervous. He was very nervous. He was very nervous. Any questions at all for this, to start with this treatment here? Any questions to the practicality?
as you can see, it's quite safe treating with this device. If we hit the nerve root, then the patient will jump off the couch, complaining of radiating pain all the way into the foot. Yeah, 那當然你如果有這個碰到了他的nerve的部分的話,他那個痛會一直往下走,所以的話呢,他會自己就會知道,病患就知道。So by training with this very concentrated focal beam, we are far away from these structures. 那用這個是一個聚焦式的這個裝置,所以它不會就是碰到一些個像nerve啦,像其他的不該碰到的組織。下一位有沒有說你是臀部的這個問題的,hip的問題的。因為剛剛是腰嘛,然後肩膀嘛,那第三個換個部位。Okay. Of course, I would just like to go into uh, the hip area and pelvic area just to show you where you will find most of the problems in clinical practice and how you can treat them with this device too. Okay,他也有幾張投影片是講hip的,就是臀部的地方哈。那稍微解釋一下,在哪幾個是這個板機點可以找到痛? Very often we have patients who have pain in the back, but also have pelvic and hip problems. How do we differentiate them? 那有的時候背部的疼痛, 有的時候是前面的這個, 比如說臀部的疼痛, 或者是這個骨盤的這邊的疼痛, 你怎麼去區隔呢? And what shock, uh, structures can we actually treat with a shockwave therapy device? 那应该是用哪一个的这个装置呢,来做个治疗这个部分? When we start looking at problems in the pelvis and the hip area and the low back area, we have to be aware of that the pain can be coming from the internal organs. 那么看这几个部位的时候,就是后,那个脊椎,那个腰部后面的时候,还有这个骨盆的时候,还有这个臀部的时候呢, 有的時候他的疼痛可能是來自於內臟。So we have to rule out any pathology to the bowel, bladder, reproductive organs and prostate. 那所以說把這些內臟的疼痛呢,我們必須要先把它排除掉。We also have to rule out that we have deep uh, muscular or trigger points in the pelvic floor which have to be treated by gynecologists. 那如果是這個骨盆這個底部的這個muscle的這個疼痛的話呢, so the good thing about pain around the pelvis and the head is that the pain description is a great telltale to where the problem is coming from. So normally when it hurts in the hip when you're in the front, when you lift the leg, most often the problem would be in the front. So when doing all your movement tests and orthopedic tests, ask the patient where they feel the pain. Here again, it's important that you do your radiological work to rule out hip pathology or bony, uh, bony structure pathology. 那麼有關於這個,比如說有很有一些問題的痛呢,你要把它排除掉,比如說這個骨頭的痛啦,其他的痛,內臟呢要把它排除掉。So just by palpating deeply at the anterior part of the hip, we can actually find these four areas which can produce pain. 那麼如果說你去做觸診的話,大概在這個骨這個臀部還有前邊這個屬膝部位這一帶的話,大概可以發現這四個類型的痛點。by palpating and compressing just over the pubic symphysis, that might elicit the known pain, uh, which can be caused by osteolysis or uh, bone edema of this joint. Uh,那么这个,啊,就是,啊,这个触诊那个,这个中间耻骨的部位的话呢,可能会痛的话呢,可能是来自于,比如说它是这个骨,这个耻骨愈合的这个产生的疼痛,或者是来自于这个 that can be treated with shockwave very very effectively. 那這個的話我們用這個誒振波會很有效的可以來做治療。We also have a doctor strain which is located right in here by palpating. 那我們這邊呢還有一個叫做誒這個 adapter的這個應該是這個內什麼 
肌啊的。内缩肌的那边的疼痛也是在属膝部位，那边也会发生疼痛。Then it's important that you palpate the inguinal ligament to see if there's any sign of hernia or sportsman hernia. 啊，那么另外的话呢，这个就是那个叫做克腰肌那边的疼痛，在属膝部位，就是他刚刚讲那个左斜左边的那个斜上去那边，看是不是有疝气啊，这种来自于这种疼痛。And then the most important structure clinically. Is the iliopsoas muscle and tendon? 那最主要的呢，就是他现在讲的绿色的那一条的那个呃肌腱的那个 muscle 那一块的疼痛。This muscle spans three joint complexes. 因为它有通过三个 joint. And with any pathology around the hip, you will have involvement of the iliopsoas. 那可能在你 hip 的部分呢，有任何疼痛的话，可能都跟这一条这个呃这个这个肌腱有关。Often, just by relieving tension and trigger points in this muscle, a lot of these overuse syndromes will disappear. 那常常呢，把它那个 trigger 呃这个扳机点呢做一个治疗的话，那么其他相关的部位的疼痛呢也会呃排除掉了。And the iliopsoas muscle and tendon are very hard to treat manually and injectionally because it lies so deep. 啊，因为它比较深的，所以比较难去这个治疗。Device, you can actually get straight on the tendon and the muscle without hurting the surrounding structures. 那用这台机器的话呢，你可以直接就可以接触到它的这个 tendon， 它的这个肌腱以及它的 muscle， 不会有任何的伤害。We have to rule out hip pathology in the joint, labral tears, osteoarthritis, and dysplasia. 那我们当然要就刚刚讲说要 rule out 刚才讲过的，它属于这个内脏的疼痛或者骨关节的疼痛，或者是它的疝气啊这些。And we have to rule out local tendinopathies around the trochanter and the buttock. 那必须要呃找出它是在这个它的部位呢，是在它的这个周边的呢，还是外侧的呢，还是它的这个大腿的这个内侧。Our knowledge has increased quite a lot over the years by doing new ultrasound scanning procedures with high-end scanners. 那呢，现在呢，我们这个这个超音波的 scan 的技术呢，是最近的，当然这些年是呃发展的相当好。It's very easy to uh, diagnose and palpate like a sartorius uh, or rectus femoris tendinopathy. 啊，比如说它那个腰侧那个肌腱的部分的发炎的话呢，你很容易可以找诊测呃那个这个诊断的。这个找得出来。It's also very easy to palpate a trochanter tendinopathy. 啊，另外就是大腿外侧的转子的那一块，呃，如果有任何的这个囊炎的话，也很容易找得到。And it's also easy to uh, palpate and diagnose an uh, tendinopathy of the ischial tuberosity. 那这个坐骨的这个肌大呃这个臀大肌的这部分呢、啊，如果有任何的囊炎的话，现在也是很容易找得到。So if you rule intraarticular pathology out, then always look to the deep structures, the iliopsoas. Ah, so if you remove all the deep structures, then you can get rid of the other problems. For example, the hip pain. Often the iliopsoas is linked to the gluteal musculature. Ah, so often, often, 在属膝部位这边疼痛的话呢，常常跟这个他后背那边是有相关的。And if you normalize tension in the gluteal musculature and the iliopsoas, many of the overuse injuries will go away by themselves. 啊，所以呢，这个外侧，比如说转子这边的呃部分的疼痛，把它处理好的话呢，属膝部位的疼痛可能也会就不见。So we can actually treat these muscles here now without getting into the bowels. And the neurovascular bundles surrounding them. 那治治疗现在画的这一个部分的呃这个部位的话呢，那就不会去碰到，比如说碰到大肠的部分，碰到这个神经的部分。Trigger points are mainly found here in the iliacus and down at the muscular tendinous junction junction of the psoas tendon and muscle belly. 所以呢，刚才讲的那些部位的话呢，它现在 trigger point 呢，就是现在打叉的这几部位。We also sometimes find 
trigger points in the adductors, but not so often. 好，那么我们常常呢，呃，也会在就是刚讲的 adductor 这边的部位呢有 trigger point， 但是不会常，呃呃，不会常常有这个部位，就是那个内收肌那边。So you probably all heard about trochanter bursitis, haven't you? Yeah. You know that bursitis of the trochanter? It is very very rare. Uh, yeah. What we know now is that most trochanter pain is a frictional problem between the tendon here, just over and below the trochanter. Oh, so he said that now the trochanter is often pain. It is often the tendon on the lower side of the trochanter that is often the problem. So that's the area to treat with most tendinopathies here. Ah, so most treatment treatment is mostly in this area, which is the area of the tendon on the lower side of the trochanter. So all these muscles here attach on top of the trochanter, and they blend the big muscles over the trochanter here and cause friction when they tense up. Ah, so the trochanter's these muscles, with your right side's this part of the trochanter, the tendon, because of the friction of the muscles, it causes pain. Most people will have this area treated with the most tendinopathy here. Ah, so most people will have tendon. Alterations when you ultrasound and MRI scan them around the hip when they are 40 years old. 那么常常四十岁的人呢，你去这个超音波照那一块的话，他的 tendon 呢，你可以看到他已经有一些经过摩擦的一些个损伤。But they're not producing pain. 但是还不会有痛的感觉。So if you palpate the insertions of the gluteus minimus and medius, they are most often not painful. It's just below, over the trochanter, and inferior to the trochanter that you have the most pain. Ah, so you often you to touch it. The pain in its the the tibia that those small this tibia small joint at the bottom it doesn't hurt. In the lower part of the tendon that joint that joint it will cause pain. So get rid of these trigger points, and they're very easy to treat in the gluteal musculature. So get rid of these trigger points, and they're very easy to treat in the gluteal musculature. 那么在这个臀部的这个内，就是内侧这边的这个点的 trigger point 就比较很容易处理。So again, we have to go quite deep. With men, we have to go 40 to 50 millimeters down. 男性的话，在这个部位的话，要40到50个 millimeter. And for women, 30 to 40 millimeters. 女性30到40. If we want to treat the gluteus medius and minimus, we want the patient side lying. With flexion of the hip, so it brings up the tendons and stretches the muscle. So, if you want to treat this area, you can put it on the left side. So, the hip is like the picture that you saw just now. It can get to this point. If you want to treat the tensor fascia lata, we have to extend the hip and adduct it to bring it up and stretch it out. So, if you want to treat this area, it's the same. You have to use this kind of knowledge. The adductor origin it's a very short tendon, and you have to treat it right on the bony attachment. Now, adapter 这边的话呢，这个长的那个内肌的话，它是要用这个，就是比较靠近这个属膝部位中间这里。And the iliopsoas junction between the tendon and the muscle. That's where you'll find most of the problems lying in the hip. Iliopsoas 就是那个克腰肌的话，大概就是在它现在照片这个位置。The problem is that we have the femoral nerve and artery. 那么我们这边的话呢，可能会有一些个这个动脉在这里。Which lies nearly on top of the iliopsoas tendon. 那么刚好呢，它就是在这一个呃也这个肌肉的这个上面的那个 tendon 的上面。But when we put the leg up in the frog position, the tendon will go lateral, so we can treat it with a shock wave. 所以它如果用这个姿势的话，它那个肌腱呢会往旁边侧边这个跑过去，那你就可以用这个 shock wave 来做这个部位的治疗。And we treat it just under the inguinal ligament, just underneath the inguinal ligament. Oh, it is just, 刚好是在它的那个呃那个那个那个叫做韧带的那个底下的部位 I'll demonstrate it just a little while. 啊，等一下他会 demo 一下 This is uh, the greater trochanter. This is the gluteus medius tendon. This is the tractus iliotibialis. Here we see calcifications in the tendon. 啊，那么这边的话呢，就是指的这个臀部的这个内侧的这个肌腱，以及这个有一个这个，呃，它是这个钙化这个情况。And here we see an X-ray. We sometimes see calcifications lying 
just lateral to the greater to cancer. 好，那么有的时候你用 X-ray 的话，就可以看到它的钙化这个情况在那个肌腱的旁边。呃、uh, ，just going into this here. We don't really see this. This here is the hip joint seen from the front. This is the uh, this is the anterior part and the posterior part. This is the iliopsoas tendon, iliopsoas muscle, and iliacus muscle. 啊，那么这是臀部的哈，那么前后的前面跟后面这样照下来的，那么它显示出来它的那个肌腱跟那个 muscle 的这个位置。It lies just in front of the hip joints and causes causes frictional pain when it enlarges and gets overexerted. 啊，如果说呃它这个部位的 muscle 的比较大的话呢，那么它刚好就是在它那个属膝部的那个地方，那会造成痛。So it's rubbing against the hip joints and causing swelling, which is the black area down here. 好，那么它还有跟它的这个 joint 互相摩擦，会造成这边的疼痛。This is a longitudinal scan of the iliopsoas tendon. It's it's very thickened and with fluid underneath. It inserts down here on the femur. 啊，就是前面属于垂直部位的那一条肌腱。那么它很厚，所以底下呢，它现在有些 fluid， 有些液体。They respond very bad to manual therapy because you can't get into it, and injectional therapy has only very short-term relief. 那么你呢？一般的这个治疗的话呢，很难处理它。那么注射的话呢，也是只能够短暂的让它这个解除问题。So let me just show you in practice how to address the iliopsoas muscle with this device, so you'll get a good result here. 好，那么接着呢，它可以秀给大家看怎么样来做这个部位，能够得到一些好的效果。Does any have a tight iliopsoas or some hip problems or anything like that? 有没有这个部位的可以上来，愿意接受治疗的 ？Must be one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Must be one who has anything. I just need to use a body. <laughs> Dead or alive? Frank is gonna get some. He's gonna knock some down and bring him out here. <laughs> 这边有志愿者，可以治疗吗？在。So for most people, when you want to treat the iliopsoas, you have to use a 30 or 40 millimeter gel pad. That far down are the structures actually. 啊，所以刚刚讲在这个属膝部位这边的话，大概是三十到四十 millimeter. So for nearly all women, women, I use 30 millimeters, and for all men, I use 40 millimeters. 所以他女性都用三十，那男性用四十 millimeter. Have you found any, Frank? Hmm? No? Okay. Um, can somebody come up and lie here? <laughs> we'll have... Um, no one no one is fresh to lie down so I can demonstrate? Free hands? How much do I have to bribe you? <laughs> so, if you want to palpate the iliopsoas, you have to palpate both bellies, the iliopsoas, the ilia, iliopsoas and the iliacus. So, to start with the attachment, you go lateral to the umbilicus, and if you palpate here, you'll find the margin between the rectus femoris and the oblique. Use two thumbs. You have to go quite deep. Then you want the patient to relax. So you put something between the legs. So you flex them slightly. Then you shorten the muscle and relax the abdominal muscles here. So you go in here lateral. And you go slowly down through the bowels. And just lateral to the umbilicus, if you press in here, you can actually feel the attachments to the transverse processes. It goes nearly straight down, a little bit lateral. So you follow it down and see if you can feel any tension or the patient is complaining of any pain. And you come down here. You have to be gentle because you go through the bowels. This iliopsoas looks quite good. Then you have to palpate the iliacus. And the iliacus is where we find most of the trigger points. So you go at the anterior superior iliac spine down to the pubic symphysis, we have the inguinal ligament. So you go inside here and press 
medial to lateral on the pelvic rim here. With some people, they cannot relax. So you have to lie them on the side and turn all the way around, all the way around. Bend their legs. What happens when you do that? The bowels fall down away from the area. Mm. The muscles relaxes. Yeah, and you young. go in here on the ili iliac internal spine here. And now you can feel the muscle very, you can feel it there, yes? Well, people sitting much down, you'll find an overactive iliacus lying in here. And you can really feel it's tense in here, and it's actually painful too, yes? Yes, very painful. It's a general problem because we sit so much down. Oh, you can hit it. Yeah, you hit on here. <coughs> so, by lying the patient down here, we have the two landmarks here, umbilicus and the anterior superior iliac spine. So if we want to actually go in and treat the iliopsoas, we can go in with the device here. Normally, I don't find many trigger points up here. I find most of them here in the iliacus and down at the muscular tenderness junction. So I actually treat patients lying here. All the bowels are away all the structures, and you go in immediately right here, angle it about 45 degrees in, and you actually just hit the trigger points at the top and the bottom of the iliac rim. There's no sens sensitive structures. You're straight on the muscle belly. And you use 30 to 40 millimeters gel pad. It's very effective at treating these areas. You won't be able to be allowed to get in with your fingers. With this here, two or three treatments, and the muscle tone is normalized. If you lie on your back, Back, just on the back. <clears throat> so if we want to treat the most often found trigger point here again, it lies, if we go umbilicus and superior iliac spine here, we have the inguinal ligament lying here. The umbilicus is lying here. So the tendon is going right down here. So if you find the inguinal ligament and you go two finger width, two to three finger width down, just distally, right in here, at the middle of the inguinal ligament, you have the iliopsoas tendus, muscular tendinous junction. If you palpate a little bit medially, you can feel the femoral artery here. You can feel it palpating on your fingers. So when you palpate just a little bit lateral until you can't feel it anymore, you're just on top of the iliopsoas tendon or muscular tendinous junction. So be sure you palpate the femoral artery and then go lateral until it disappears and it's disappeared here and you're right on the tendon. So you take this device here, you put it here, angle it a little bit lateral to medial, about 15 degrees, and you search up and down and you're straight on the tendon. And it's very, very effective in treating that uh, muscle. You'll get, in nearly just like the spine, an immediate uh, reduction of spasm in the muscle. And after three or four treatments, you'll have normal tone in that muscle. And what we found with uh, chronic tendinopathies around the trochanter and the adductors, which kept on, uh, didn't responding to our treatment, when we treated the iliopsoas with the shock wave, they actually disappeared. <coughs> so it's a very important muscle that you actually should treat there. Any questions? Uh, thank you, good lecture. Uh, I want to, to know uh, what, what, uh, what patient so become uh, radiculopathy or lumbar radiculopathy or spondiosis uh, after you uh, local injection or exercise and or chiropractic uh, therapy. Uh, how many people, how many percentage you need uh, do uh, short web for the uh, intractable patient in on cervical or uh, lumbar How many spinal. treatments or? How, 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 how many percentage you treat? Yeah, I treat. Intractable, intract, intractable patient. Yes. Uh, I for, for cervical or lumbar spine patient. Um, we only treat the short wave for the chronic ones who don't respond to exercise therapy and manual therapy. Uh, and with those, 
we selected there and have no other pathology, we have a high percentage, of over 70% uh, success rate in treating them. But they always have to be followed with rehabilitation. And what we, 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 uh, we uh, advise is that they do extension and rotation uh, exercises, which actually stimulates the deep paraspinal muscles and creates gliding movement over the facet joints. It's just like, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah,那我简单讲就是说他说有多少个百分比的这个病患呢,有用这个机器的,那么在这个后颈椎或者是腰部的,那么他说如果说他做任何其他治疗都没有效的话呢,通常他就会来试着用这个机器,那个大概
是他的这个目前他做的这个目的，他有很多临床的这个实务经验。So as us as clinicians, we have to find the most effective way to treat the patient without causing any harm. 也就是找到一个最有效的方式来做治疗他的疼痛，而不要造成伤害。And here, shockwave has shown to be a great tool in actually helping a lot of patients that we couldn't help before. 那么发现到这个这个体外震波呢，确实是一个非常安全、有效又不会有伤害的这个做法。No more questions. Then I would very much like to uh, thank you for your hospitality and your kind listening abilities. And I wish you all a very happy Sunday evening. Thank you, everyone. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.